Hi guys, this is Max. Welcome to my channel. I'm a massage therapist and an osteopath here in Barcelona. I'm gonna say thanks to my model. She's an Argentinian artist and uh, she agreed to do this video with me. So I'm really grateful that I have the uh, opportunity to shoot this massage video. It's gonna be a mix between uh, my voice that uh, will be as uh, relaxing as possible and the uh, ASMR. For a simple reason, I can't leave this video only in ASMR because it's gonna be demonetized. So I will need uh, to uh, package as a physiotherapist video, but it's always important to know what's going on when you give a massage, especially for the physiotherapist and the massage therapist or the osteopath that follow this channel. So I always start uh, when I have to work on the lower compartment with the feet and uh, I work on the fascia of the feet, especially the, the, s the lateral part that uh, most of the time is really tense due to the tendency of uh, most of my client to have a, a supinated foot. So I always try to give some mobility to the, the bottom of the feet, try to increase the, the toes roll and the, um, the dorsiflexion. I will use my voice in the same time to, to make you relax, to make you enjoy what you're watching, to try to find a rhythm and uh, a sense in the in the massage in the feeling of the touch that is uh, supporting this medium youtube and i always try to dorsiflex and work on the on the tibia and on the parents try to give space in dorsiflexion and of course after that you want to work on the calf, on the gastrocnemio, on the soleo, with some strokes that uh, go into the direction of the, the hips, so you can warm up the tissue, gentle, so you can go deeper. I generally use uh, shea butter, or sometimes I don't even use anything, or sometimes I even use uh, some chalk, chalk that allow me to really work deep into the fascia, into the mechanoreceptor that uh, help the pain to disappear. Mm -hmm. We know that massage has a benefit, uh, as a therapeutic effect that increase the wellness and sometimes can even get rid of the, of the pain working on the on the afferent uh, kind of receptor, Ruffini receptor, and uh, have some uh, GABA and uh, some uh, natural opioid from, uh, from your nervous system. So after work the, the back line, I work on the front, in this case, I'm working on the, on the tibialis anterior. It can be really painful if uh, okay. you have a problem with uh, lateral line. Tibialis, uh, tibialis referring to the lateral line from uh, anatomy trains, uh, Mike Myers and uh, Rolfing. So I find this, uh, this position really comfortable. And I found the more comfortable you are, the more your client can relax. If you are in a tense position, your client cannot relax perfectly. So I find the, the extreme pain or certain uh, technique to be mitigated. If you are in a comfortable position, a stable comfortable position, so right now I'm trying to open up the plantar fascia. Mm. There are so many muscles, one on top of each other. 
and the uh, bottom of the feet. And try to create a grounded uh, base for the feet to to be in contact with the with the earth uh, to react like a panther, like a cat, to the to the earth, and not like an elephant. Mm. So it's important to have that mm. foot mm. completely open completely responsive and on the tripod. So we are uh, work, uh, working uh, on the uh, biceps uh, femoris. It is always uh, a muscle that uh, it's tighter most of the time because it's work uh, mostly uh, take the part and overwork what the other part of the uh, hamstring should do the sympanosa and sympanosa that are always weaker for some reason. Uh. Yeah. And that can be associated, as I say, as a, with a supine foot or just a, you know, it's a bigger muscle. So as we use, overuse bigger muscle, the same can happen with the bicep femoris, the same can happen with uh, the deltoids, sorry, the, the, the upper trapezius. So every time we have bigger muscle, we mm. tend to use more a little muscle. Now I'm doing some uh, technique to try to break break adhesion into the time into the fascia. And of course, um, if you have a friend, you can try to follow my massage while I'm talking try to learn some technique to enjoy with your partner the, the pleasure of, uh, of a massage and maybe be able to to heal some uh, tension in the hamstring, some tension in the glutes and uh, I always go slow uh, the slowest you go the more can affect the fascia in this case, I put some uh, shea butter, as I said before, but and um, you can even put anything, and uh, and the the ability of uh, staying some and uh, hel uh, ask for the help of the client to engage a muscle. I can do that now. I'm asking to engage in the contraction of the hamstring. In, uh, in the same time, yeah, using yeah. active engaging technique, so when uh, she relax, yeah, yeah. can use and you can go deeper into yeah, yeah. the hamstring. Yeah. Make that muscle relax. Yeah, yeah. Make that muscle feel better. The more it feel better, the more the client will be grateful. Yeah. Bien. Mm -hmm. Of course, try to relax if you're watching this video. Try to feel the sense of touch that I'm trying to provide to my client. As I said, be comfortable is super important. You got to find the boundary though with your client. If you would do this job, of course, you're not going to do this kind of technique the first time you meet uh, your client. You have to have some kind of trust, you have to build some okay. kind of rapport. Mm -hmm. And uh, every time you work with your client, always have a complete awareness of jump sign. So if you touch, for example, trigger point and you see that the client is, is reacting, like in, in pain, acknowledge that. And uh, in this case, you cannot see the, the face, but always have an eye on the, on the eyes of the person, see if they're squinting their eyes. And then I change position 
I go in this four position that allow you to work the acetabulum, allow you to work around the acetabulum and uh, around the femur. I try to open and work on the six deep rotators. I really love this position. It's a uh, it's a great position even for the to work on a sacrotuberous uh, ligament. And uh, it's a break into the uh, routine that your your client is used to. Not uh, all the massage therapy put you in this position. It's a position. Uh, it's a really vulnerable position. In the same time, though allow you to, to have all the access to the IT band, allow you to have access on the hamstring and on the quad in the same time. So that you can do this uh, squashing uh, technique with your fist. Mm. And uh, that allow you to work the two mm. muscles, the, the agonist and the antagonist in the same time. And then, of course, you want to go to where the glute medius and the TFL are positioned. Some work on the piriformis muscle, a muscle that can be involved in a fake uh, sciatica. Piriformis can get tense, as I said, for uh, people that run a lot, or people that are not used to run, and they start running, and all of a sudden they realize, oh, I have pain in uh, my glutes, I have pain in my back, and maybe it's just because they start running lately. I use the active engaging technique, asking the client to move up the leg back and forth, then to, uh, to contract, <laughs> so that you have that uh, uh, post isometric uh, relaxation of the muscle that allows you to release easily mm -hmm. this muscle. I always do line on the, on the glutes, and uh, I try to work all <laughs> the six deep rotators. Yeah, all the way in the direction of the femurs. I think massage is a great tool. It's a great tool that uh, can uh, help you to engage with your partner in a moment 